for sticking with me this far. We're so thankful for you and we love you. Here's the day 10 video from last year. Also that posted is the umbrella diagnosis, which means it's part of many syndromes and underlying conditions. I don't have any syndromes, but I do have the RYR1 mutation. This puts me at risk for malignant hypothermia during surgery. about my RYR1 mutation. So let's talk with my Nana. Nana, can you tell me more? Of course, Bug. So, your RYR1 mutation, from what I understand, is a difference in the gene. It comes from the paternal side of the family. They are actually able to see that in the genetic testing. Um, and what it does is it puts you at risk for something called malignant hypothermia. Can you say that? Malignant hypothermia. Malignant hypothermia. Yeah, and what that means is it's basically a spontaneous hypothermia within the body. Your body could spontaneously get too hot, way too hot. Um, and it's dangerous because I think the, the most risk of it happening is during surgery, so there's certain gases that they use when they typically put people down under anesthesia for surgery, and they can't use those with you. Uh, they have to do your surgery differently, so that's why you always have to be the first person in the room in the morning um, after everything's been cleared out from the night before. No one else can go before you, so that's why we always have to get up so early for your surgeries. Um, but you have to be the first person in the room. Everything has to be clean and fresh for you because if they were to use um, the certain types of gases or whatever they use that, that could trigger it, then it's more likely that you could have an episode of this malignant hypothermia. And what happens is if you had an episode, if your body had an episode of it, your body would really fast get way too hot inside in the core which would then potentially cause organs to shut down. So it can be potentially fatal, which means you could die from it if it happened. So that's why everyone goes through great lengths, does all kinds of precautions and all kinds of special stuff to make sure that you're well taken care of when you have surgery so we don't have to worry about that. They've got a whole protocol to protect RYR1 risk people. Um, they've got a cart that they keep in the room with you during surgery that has all the stuff they need in case something happens. And they go through all these great lengths to make sure that you are not in danger when you go in for surgery. Mm -hmm. So why do I get hot sometimes? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know for sure if they're related. I, th I think I've read, um, and it's hard because this is another rare kind of condition that there isn't a ton of information about, but I've read that um, like exercise and high temperature could potentially cause a malignant hypothermia episode as well. And you definitely have had this thing that's happened since you were a baby where one side of your face will flush. You'll get one cheek that's very red. And that's kind of like the indicator for me to know that you're getting too hot and we need to cool you down. It happens whenever you wear long sleeves, thick coats. Um, if you're outside in the heat and the mugginess a lot in the summer, it happens. You used to break out in a heat rash when you were little. So, um, yeah, in order to, you know, prevent that risk of you having a malignant hypothermia episode, I just try to keep you nice and cool. I let you wear loose clothing, um, not long sleeves and long pants and bundle you all up. Um, and it's worked so far. You've been fine when we go inside the air conditioning if it gets too hot and stuff like that. So um, I think, I think though, that's why you, you do tend to overheat very easily. Mm -hmm. 
as a lot of AMCers actually do. So it could even be an arthrogryposis thing because other AMCers overheat easily as well and they don't have RY or R1 mutation. Um, and they also get the sweaty hands and feet like you do. So that seems to be an AMC thing. <laughs> it could have to do with circulation and uh, just the way the body regulates itself differently because of your less muscle density and stuff like that. Why does my RY R1 mutation affect me? Well, it's it's something that happened when you were conceived, when when you were not even you were not even a person yet. You were just an egg and you were just forming. It's called a, a fetus. Um, well, even before the fetus. I mean, it's like like the very inception of you. <laughs> Something in your genetics just went a little bit haywire. <laughs> and it didn't, it didn't quite form exactly perfectly. But you know what? That's okay. Because we're not all perfect. Everybody has something. And you're actually very healthy. Because in your whole exome sequencing, that huge $10,000 test that they did to look at all of your genetic markers, the RYR1 mutation is the only one you had. Everything else is perfect. So there's, you know, there's a, everybody's got something different going on. And this is, this is just one of your differences. So even though I have this RYR1 mutation, why does... Like, can it affect me in the joints and muscles, too? Um, it doesn't, actually. That's a really good question. So another common thing with RYR1 mutation is something called central core disease. And central core disease is more like a um, an MS, like a, um, it's more like a degenerative condition, like, like it's associated with MS, where the muscles get weaker over time. And so what I had done when, when Dr. Feldman did your leg surgery, I asked him to do a biopsy on one of your muscles and send it out for testing to find out if you had central core disease. And you do not. So your muscles are as healthy as they can be. And while they, they won't ever get big and build up muscle mass if you lift weights like you know most people's muscles do, um, they also won't get worse over time. And you should not get any weaker over time. So that's really good news. Okay? I love you, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Thank you for asking such wonderful questions about your RYR1 mutation. I always love you so more than that. I love you to the moon and back. That's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. already. Isn't that crazy? We built a whole website. Where do they go? To amcprincessanna.com. www.amcprincessanna.com. Go follow it.